Well, I'm just on my way to uh, pick up my sister. Um, I'm going to take her to pick up a rug. And um, also, I've got my diesel heater. And a little bit later on, I'm going to do an unboxing of it and uh, hopefully all the bits are in there um, because there's been a, a few people on uh, YouTube uh, that I've seen and they've uh, ordered these Chinese heaters and um, when they've got them there's been bits missing so I'm hoping uh, that this one is going to be okay but we'll find out a little bit later on so it's a bit, a bit miserable today weather wise but it's not, not too cold As um, I said earlier, we're going to do the unboxing of the Chinese diesel heater. Uh, here it is. So we'll just uh, snip these. Certainly, uh, well wrapped. By the looks of it, might need that again. Uh, so, yeah, we've got plenty of padding in there and packing. So, oops, I guess this is my. tank with um bits in here unlike some that have been delivered that have got a few bits missing so again plenty of packing well we've got a nice uh, 
T junction there so we can have it go in either way. Some uh, fuel pipe. wires complete with fuse and a good size uh, power cable there and that's the bit that fits to the pump Uh, an air filter what else have we got in here there's the exhaust and then we've got the inlet pipe expanding pipe and uh, in the part there and where it comes out we've got what else have we got in here oh we've got two of these yeah because we've got the two jumps in there uh, we've got in here various, oh there's a fuel pump, some brackets, uh, cable ties, an assortment of um, what have we got in here? Okay, it up. It's an assortment of screws by the looks of it. I think I saw some south tapping screws in there. And there's an assortment of these in there, different sizes. And there's the fuel filter. And yeah, there's some self tapping bolts in there and quite a few of these this size and there's a bracket for the exhaust Two brackets in there for exhaust. And there's the base plate. With the cutout for the fuel line. And another of pipe and oh, in here we've got brackets and we've got the looks like a midsection um, little silencer box We've got another bracket and the end box, hopefully. Oh, no, that's a, yep, yeah. that's the end. Well, I guess you can use them either way. Again, self tappers. All, uh, all 
que de ça et ça. CD screen, LCD programmable screen, and then finally we've got the beast itself. This is the exhaust. Let's see if no, that's. That's the exhaust. This is the inlet. That's the fuel line. Oh, we've got the fan in there. So, and we've got um, diesel fuel, diesel oil. A model SJ02 12 volt 40 watt 1 to 5 kilowatt air heater the, the only thing that isn't in here which um, I don't think is going to make an awful lot of difference is uh, an instruction manual <laughs> Oh, no, hang on. There it is. One instruction manual. Which, uh, just lists all the parts. Tells you whereabouts you can install it, how to install it, um, how to operate it. Everything's there. Nothing missing. There's uh, operating the digital panel. Tells you how to program it. That's the old type um, controller that they had. And they've now got the digital one and they've also got another newer digital one now that um, you can get a remote control with so I don't know I think this you, you can upgrade this particular one that I have here um, and have the little key fob remote control As well so so far that looks uh, looks promising as I say there's been a few delivered with uh, missing parts but it would seem that I have all the parts in there so very pleased about that now all I've got to do is um, get it fitted in 
So, possibly could do with a, another piece of this, which I dare say uh, I'll be able to pick up from somewhere. So, ooh, might be okay, might be able to use just can cut that. I think this is, yeah, you can expand this um, slightly, so that'll be excellent. So, like I say, I've just got to fit it in now, and also uh, this came today, which where's my knife? What did I do with my knife? It fell in the box of polystyrene, I think. Hmm. Oh well, I'll find that in a minute. I've got my scissors. So, yeah, also today I had these delivered. Um, and these are just some speakers, ceiling speakers, so I can mount these into the ceiling inside the van to attach my uh, stereo to um, now I should be on the way to me, a little Bluetooth amplifier. So, I've got cable in here, instructions, and here's, I'll show you one of the speakers. Screws. Fit. These are also waterproof, I believe. And uh, I mean, they're, they're not massive, great big speakers. They're only um, 80 watt speakers, but more than enough for the tiny space that I've got in the van. So, very pleased with them as well. So it looks like I've got some work cut out for me now. Because where I want to mount the uh, heater. Um, so yeah, at the moment I've got the the rock and roll bed in the van. Uh, which takes up a lot of room. So I'm thinking of taking that out and putting the bed at the back of the van going across the van and um, having some garage space underneath and, and I can put the speakers up in the ceiling obviously and then the heater I'm going to put in the garage compartment uh, with the blowers coming out into the main area 
of the living space. So that's what I'm planning to do anyway. So hopefully the weather's going to be good to me so I can get on with that and um, get back on the road which I'm dying to do uh, I've got oh, speaker white speaker cable comes complete with the attachments although I have got a, a whole reel of speaker cable little instruction manual not that you need much instruction to put speakers in but maybe some people do yeah four inch waterproof oh these are marine speakers so yeah power handed in maximum 160 watt for the pair so that's 80 watts each um, Got a polypro polypropylene cone with rubber edges, uh, ABS plastic basket, mounting depth 1.37 inches, mounting hole diameter 4.52-115 millimeters, and the outside fascia is 4.88 which is 124 millimetres. Yeah, so that all looks straightforward. And as I say, I've got uh, a little mini Bluetooth amplifier uh, that you can put uh, a USB stick in, you can put uh, an SD memory card in with music on it and uh, that amplifies up I think it's uh, up to 200 watts it will do so obviously plenty powerful enough for the van and plenty powerful enough for the speakers that I've got here obviously I'm not going to put them up put it up that high otherwise I'll damage the speakers but Yep, everything present and correct. So, pleased with that. Um, thanks very much for watching. I will do a video on the installation of it. I don't know how quick that's going to be, but I'll uh, hopefully get working on that pretty soon. So, thank you very much for watching. And um, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And just let you also know that I've got stickers available there. Um, I've also got some mugs available, which um, are quite nice inside. Uh, I've got my logo on the front there I've got pens available um, and they, they write quite nice really so uh, yeah I've just got my name and um, my uh, blog address on there and it also where it just says the same as the speaker, uh, same as the speakers, same as the stickers do, really. So we've got Go Spirit 61 Van Travel Photographer, that's my blog, and then it's always Follow Your Dream, and the little logo there. So if anybody wants to order them, you can do so via my Facebook page or sending me an email or on the vlog you'll see them on there so I'll catch you all soon thanks very much see you soon <laughs>